I am going to be going over some of the data I looked at to make my forecast and then I will show you my temperature, precipitation and snowfall forecast, as well as some winter highlights. We are expecting a week La Nina this year and this map is showing temperature anomalies in week La Nina winters since 2000. I prefer to use more recent winters rather than winters back in the 70s and 80s because let's face it things have changed, the world is warmer and precipitation patterns are not the same. As you can see the north central US is typically colder than average in the southern, southeastern, and northeastern US is usually a degree or two warmer than average. And here is the precipitation anomalies for the same years. The southeast is often drier than normal but some areas have seen above average rainfall in Arkansas, Mississippi and Tennessee. Something else to note is the Great Lakes area is wetter than average. One of the main things I like to look at when putting together my forecast is recent trends because trends usually continue in weather. This is the precipitation anomalies over the past 10 winters and a lot of areas are above average. Some areas in the southeast are as much as 3 to 4 inches above average but I don't think that is as likely to occur this year with a La Nina forecasted. The storm track should be further north and lower the amount of rainfall in the southeast, especially in the Carolinas. Here is the temperature trend anomalies and it looks like a blowtorch. This is hard to ignore, as much of the southeast has been a degree and a half to two degrees above average in the past decade. In the Ohio Valley it is around half a degree to a degree warmer than average. But some areas in the north central US have seen some below average temps recently. These are things I really like to consider when making my forecasts. Something I look at to at least see if it is agreeing with everything else, is the models. I do not make them a big part of my forecast because to be honest with you, I don't think they are very accurate. In this case the CFS monthly model actually agrees with the below average precipitation in the southeast and above average precipitation in the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes. And although I'm not going to show it in this video, I will say the European monthly model looks pretty similar to this. When it comes to temperatures this model always shows way above average temps pretty much everywhere, so it's surprising to see below average temps showing up in the Great Lakes. But as I said these long range models are normally not very accurate so I prefer to look at patterns and base my forecast more off that. First we have my temperature forecast, I have slightly below average temperatures expected for the north central US and Great Lakes. This is because this seems to be more common in weak La Nina winters and these areas have not seen as strong of a warmer trend in the past decade. For the Ohio Valley it should be fairly close to average meaning a half a degree above or half a degree below average. As we move towards the south, in the light orange you can expect temperatures 1 to 2 degrees above average. In the darker orange I am calling for temperatures to be 2 to 3 degrees above average. It looks like it is going to be a rather warm winter in the southeast, but more than likely it won't be as warm as last winter. Here is my precipitation forecast. The above average area goes from parts of the Mississippi Valley up through the Great Lakes and interior northeast. The moderately above average area stretches from Tennessee, through Kentucky, Indiana and Ohio. There looks to be a very active storm track set up over this area and that should produce plenty of precipitation. And along the southeast coast, I am calling for slightly below average precipitation, since the most common storm track should be well to your west. Before I show you my snowfall forecast I want to show you what you average, just in case you don't know already. If you need more time just pause the video, find your area, and color and look at the legend to the right. In the southeast, with temperatures likely to be several degrees above average, and some areas seeing below average precipitation it does not look favorable for above average snowfall. It is hard to forecast snowfall compared to average in these areas because they don't average much snow so one storm can put them above average. So I would say this area has the highest bus potential for that very reason. Areas along the Ohio River should be close to their average, so if you are a snow lover, it doesn't look great but should be better than last winter. Areas further north, in the Great Lakes and west of there is the area I think we see above average snowfall. And the biggest snows will be in northern Illinois, eastern Wisconsin, far northwestern Indiana, 
and most of Michigan. These areas look to be in the most favorable areas to see above average snowfall, with decent cold air, plenty of precipitation and on the northwest side of the common storm track. Big cities like Chicago and Milwaukee could have a very snowy winter if everything works out. Lastly here is a map of what I think will be the highlights of the winter. In the southeast I think you will look back on this winter and say it was a warm one. Everything just seems to be pointing that way as of right now and I don't think it's going to change. Areas in the mixed events region I think you will have many storms that start as snow, change to sleet and freezing rain and then probably over to rain. This happens a lot in the winter for this area and I think it will happen even more often this year. West of there we have the rainy and wet region where the active storm track looks to provide a lot of rain. You definitely could see a decent snow event at some point but only time will tell. North of that we have snowstorms. These areas will likely see a decent snowstorm or two but will not be in the most favorable area for several big snowstorms. In the pink over Minnesota, Iowa and Wisconsin we have our Arctic blasts region. This winter will be like any other for the upper Midwest. It will be brutally cold at times. You'll get plenty of snow and will be so excited when spring finally arrives. And last but not least we have our region labeled blizzards. I think you could see a blizzard over this area, and even if you don't you should see tons of snow. The winter will be remembered by its numerous heavy snow events over the area. That is all for today's video. I would really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed if you enjoyed it. I may update this again at some point if I feel the need to. But for now that's it and have a good rest of your day.